Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a radio button that looks like this. We have four options and I can only select any one of the options at any point in time. Once I've selected any of the options, I should not be able to unselect the options that I've selected. Right. Now that you have seen how the uh, end product is going to look like, the next thing that I'll be showing you is the step-by-step -step process on how to create this radio button. Let's get to it. To create the radio button, we merely need two things, circle and text. So let's first add the circle. For the circle, I'm going to give it a dimension of 24px. And for the color itself, I'm just going to give it white for now. Let's add in the text and call it option A. For the circle, right click on it, add auto layout. For the auto layout, give it an outline. For the auto layout, give it a border radius of 100. So it seems like the gap is too big. I mean, the padding is a little bit too big. So let's reduce it to 4px. Okay, now it looks better. Name it, call it circle, and give it the background color of white. All right, great. Select the two elements, right click, add auto layout. For the spacing between the items, let's set it as 8px. And then let's try to um, left align and uh, middle align it. All right, cool. Now that you have the first uh, radio button, uh, let's call it the first option, all right? Uh, let's say option A, all right? Let's call it option. We're going to create a component and we're going to create a variant out of it because we need two state for the second one we will uh, give the circle a different color to indicate that the option has been selected so click on the circle for the uh, outline of the circle let's give it a different color other than black in this case i would like to go for blue you can choose any color that you want which is fine for the circle within a circle um, i'm going to give it the same color as the outline so for the fill this is the blue that i have all right the next thing we need to do is really simple select uh, these two options uh, with different states and create uh, an add variant uh, three more times, all right? So let's click on add variant, add variant, and add variant. All right, let's rename the rest of it to create option uh, B, C, and D. Um, I think it looks a little bit, um, it is a little bit hard to see at the moment. So I'm just going to rearrange it real quick. Option B, I'm going to put here. I'm just going to put them side by side. All right, so I guess now it's much easier to see. 
Um, the next thing that I want to do, okay, let me just all right. The next thing that I want to do is to just give this uh component uh their respective uh, property. So over here, I have uh, two state, the default state and the selected state, all right? So let me click on the component set. For the first property, let me just call it uh, state. For the second property, I'm going to call it name. Next, we'll just have to find the option in the assets. Break it down. Copy and paste it three times. Select all the options. Right click, add auto layout, and change it in such a way that it becomes option A, B, C. So select the second row, change it to B, third one to C, fourth one to D. For the whole uh, frame, we're just going to create the spacing between the items um, to have, uh, let's say, 8px. Let's call this options. Uh, let's call it options uh, set or whatever, right? Make the option set, copy, paste it. Copy and paste it again, copy and paste it again, and copy and paste it again. I'm going to rename it to A selected, second one B selected, third one C selected, and the last one D selected. For the one way, we want A to be selected, click on option A, change the state from default to selected. Do the same for option B, C, D. Gonna select option B, default to selected, option C, default to selected, option D, default to selected. Great. The next thing that we need to do is to link up the respective uh, option to the option set below here. All right, I'm going to select option A first. For option A, I'm going to select a circle, click on prototype, and I'm going to create a click interactions and link it to option set A selected. Right, on click, navigate to option set A selected, and I'm going to make it instantaneous for the animation. I'm going to do the same for option B. Do the same for option C and D. All right. Now that we have option A, B, C, and D connected, we just need to uh, displayed in the prototype. So just to be sure that we can see the uh, radio button in action in the prototype, we just have to uh, give it a white background for all the option set. So let me select all the option set, give it a white background, and for all the option set, I'm also going to give it a padding of 16px. All right, select option set, Click on prototype, click on flow starting point, and I'm going to rename the flow. Instead of flow one, I'm going to call it showcase radio button. I'm going to click on play. It's a little bit small, so let's zoom in, click on options, click on view screen. So there you have it. You have successfully created your own radio button. Play around with it to see that it works. If you want to see more of such tutorial videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you again in the next video.